welcome back. Today, we are joined by Marina O'Callaghan from Stylicious. Um, Stylicious is, specializes in bridal hair and makeup. Thank you so much for joining us, Marina. Thanks for having me, Kate. Yay, I'm so excited to, yeah, for you to sort of give us your wedding tips and about hair and makeup. Um, yeah, and just yeah, go on a I bit of an adventure them. with that yeah. <laughs> today. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. And thanks for giving us your time. I know that you're very you. busy <laughs> at the moment. Yes, but it's, it's good to do something a little bit different. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. Um, so for those of us that don't know, um, can you tell us a bit about your business and what services do you offer? Okay, so we, um, we I have a little team, wonderful team, um, and we specialise in bridal hair and makeup. So we don't just get booked, arrive on the day, do your hair and makeup, and that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. We're very passionate about what we do. Um, I'm very passionate about skin. So I like skin to be skin and hair to be hair rather than just throwing a load of products together. You know, right. um, being part of a wedding day is so fantastic, but it's not only been there on the day, it's helping the bride um, create a look for herself and her bridal party. Some brides come and they know exactly what they want. And then some others aren't quite sure because they wouldn't be used to, you know, they wouldn't wear an awful lot of makeup or yeah. they wouldn't know they have a dress, but they don't know how to style it um, yeah. so that's the real exciting part like once we've booked then we start planning together and creating the perfect look and um, I send like I'll, I'll get my bride to send a photo of herself and her dress and then I'll send her um, suggestions of things that might work because I can visualize um, a look so it's and then we'll give advice on hair care, skin care, different products to you. So it's an all round service. It's not just arriving on the day and making them yeah. feel fantastic. Yeah, I noticed that there was a lot of you were giving lots of tips. Um, yeah. Especially on your website was great because yeah. it's a lot of how you can prepare your hair and skin before yeah. the day in the in the weeks yeah. running up to it. That's really yeah. good. Like I, that, I will always recommend a trial. Um, well, so what should someone consider when searching for their hairdresser or makeup artist for their wedding? Okay, what I would say is. Um, go through their portfolio and their gallery. Um, you will have or a bride, you'll, you'll have your own style. Okay, yes. so whether you are a very minimalist, um, whether you are somebody who likes Hollywood glam, or whether you're somebody who has very sensitive skin, you know, it just, it, it depends. So what I'd say is go through their, their gallery, their portfolio, look at the, the work that they've done. Do Are they the kind of makeup artist that specializes in one look or oh. like, you know, yeah. very different looks? Like we, we would have had, we, we would probably be more known for our more natural look. Okay. But from the website, you'll see that there's a very diverse range of, of looks. Yeah. Um, so we can do very soft or very glam, smoky, you know, Hollywood. Yeah. Um, then again, with with hairstyles, again, there's there's some hairstylists that will really specialise in, say, the Hollywood curls, yeah, um, and or, or Hollywood waves, I should say, um, or do they have a diverse uh, portfolio of looks? Yeah, you don't want some, you don't want to book somebody that has a look, and it doesn't matter who you are that they're going to do that look on you. Yeah, so you're just going to have to fit around their look, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so thinking about your first meeting uh, with the bride to be, do you have any advice on how they could come best prepared? I know we, we slightly um, we hit on this earlier. Um, okay. So, so generally, the first time I'll meet my bride uh, will be her trial. Um, yes. So I always send out um, a trial prep document to each of my brides beforehand. Um, so there's a few little things that we just um, advise. So if you're coming for, say, a hair only trial, have your makeup done as best as possible. Yep. Um, if you're coming for a makeup only or hair and makeup, if you're planning on wearing tan on the day, I'd say ah. wear it. 
Yes. Um, wash your hair the night before. Yeah. Um, hair works better and styles better if it's not freshly washed and too soft. Oh, okay. Um, and then we'll check the hair on the day and if there's anything that we advise you to do then on the run up to the wedding we'll give you little tips and tricks and products to use we don't want you it's not about um giving you a list of things to spend a fortune on it's like a lot of them i could there's home remedies you know like using coconut oil and and sugar as a as a scrub for your face or you know putting a little bit of coconut oil and in your hair you know there's it's not about getting you to spend a huge amount of money but again if there are products that you need to buy as I said, this is an investment going forward. It's not just for a wet, your wedding day. Yeah. Um, I'd always say to wear a white or cream top. Right. Yes. Particularly for a makeup trial, because if you, if you're not able to, if you're not somebody that's good at visualizing, um, it, it, it'll help you visualize it if you have the same color as what you're wearing. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're wearing a blue wedding dress, wear a blue top. Yeah. Um, and also with the colour that you're wearing will reflect onto your face and it will change the tone um, mm. of your makeup. Yeah, that's a really good idea. So, so wearing, yeah. yeah, so wearing a white top really works. Um, if you are wearing anything specific in your hair, so your veil or clips or pins or, or anything, a headpiece, if you have it, I advise them to bring it with them. Right. Because I take, we take loads of photographs um, right. so they again they can visualize it because they won't have their dress with them yeah that's amazing so they would be they'd be the main tips for first day and if when if they have style ideas if like for hair or makeup i get them to send them to me um beforehand right so that say if if i get something um sent a hairstyle sent to me that needs a huge amount of hair I'll, you know, check that they have that that amount of hair, or I'll advise them to get some clip-in extensions. Okay. Rather than them having this expectation, coming for the trial, and then being disappointed leaving. Okay. You no, know, I want them to feel 100% happy. And, yeah. Okay, this is going to be it for the day um, yeah. at the trial. So they get as much out of the appointment with us as possible. And before you mentioned before the appointment, you will send them um, sort of a pack. Is it an information pack or a questionnaire, did you say? I just send them um, a, basically a document with all that information on it um, so that they have as much information as possible. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, exciting. I had a bride and uh, she didn't really know what she wanted and her sister chose a style for her. So oh, we really? did a, a version of that and it was perfect and she was all happy. Oh. And... Um, she was going to work straight from the trial, so we <sighs> took it down um, and her hair was left curly and she was walking by. I've got a big mirror that they can really see. She got. A, she was walking by the big mirror and she just caught it, it, like a glimpse of herself and she thought, oh my God, that's so gorgeous. And I would have oh. never worn my hair down, but my husband, my future husband would love it. And that's what we did. So, wow, you know, she had decided on something. And yes. She just saw this on the way out and it was perfect. It was absolute because she had beautiful thick hair and it, yeah. and it was perfect. And he was so surprised and it was lovely. It was really lovely. So, oh, that's so lovely. You um, can have an idea in your head and then it mightn't be, you know, it's, it's like the men we choose, the dresses we choose, they're not necessarily <laughs> what we had uh, yeah, visualised yeah. in the first place. Yeah, exactly. It's just when it when it feels right, it's like, no, this is the one, yeah. this is the hairdo, this is the makeup, yeah. this is yeah. the man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 